Getting consistent readability five reports with the RAID tenor on 40 meters is almost getting monotonous. There's really only one thing to do for the diehard qrp -er, and that's to drop power even more. It's the first anniversary of SOTA in VK2, so there may be more than usual numbers of stations on the air. And being on summits, they're likely to have low noise levels and be able to hear my milliwatt signals. background but I can't work out what he's saying pretty low down okay anyone else this is VK3 Mike Romeo Hotel standing by anybody wanting to call back uh, go now we'll be listening first of all for any stations outside VK7 go now over yeah okay there's a couple there uh, one's VK7 I'll take the VK3 first VK3 Yankee Echo go ahead over uh, re you're readable, quite good down in southern Tasmania. Uh, not moving the hill, but uh, we know you're there. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, you've got yourself a good ground plane, plane if you haven't uh, got anything else but wet feet, you've got a good ground plane. Okay, thanks for checking in, Peter, and uh, we'll carry on with the callbacks here. Yeah, VK1 RX Port 2, VK3 MCD, Brian here, um, L5 and 5, 55, over. A few stations there, um, I've got a lot of them up in the water. VK3 MCSR, VK3 Delta Alpha Charlie, um, and the pedestrian mobile station, and then VK1 NIM. So VK3 Yankee Echo, pedestrian mobile. G'day Peter, how are you doing? Uh, thanks for the 5 and 6, 56. You're 5 and 1, you're 51. Uh, nothing really registering, but a nice clear audio nonetheless. This is the VK2 callback on 7 MHz. The distance is a little bit long to be optimum on 40 meters. However, the low angle of this antenna should provide some benefits. were as expected. It was much harder to get contacts with 500 milliwatts than it was with 5 watts. However, some good contacts were made, mostly to portable stations with low noise. Having the 5 watts as a backup though was really useful when other stations were struggling. There's no doubt that this antenna is efficient enough to make pedestrian mobile contacts with even lower power, let's say 20 or 50 milliwatts. That may be something to be tried in a later video. 